What's going on boys and girls? What's up world? Austin John plays here and today well, I'm going to be showing you how you can take on Gigantamax Scorch in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. <laughs> Now, right now, in addition to Gigantamax Butterfree, there is a promotion going on. There is an increased chance for Gigantamax Scorch to spawn in Pokemon Shield and Gigantamax Celicobra to spawn in Pokemon Sword. Great. From my research on all the information dug up on the game so far, which is just data mining, Scorch appears at a specific nest ID that is also home to a two-star Growlithe, a two-star Sizzlepeed, a two-star Litwick, a two-star Salandit, a three-star Carcoal, a three-star Lampert, a four-star Heatmore, a five-star Torkoal, a five-star Arcanine, a five-star Chandelure, a five-star Colosso, and this five-star Gigantamax Scorch. It appears to be the same for both Sword and Shield. However, with the current distribution going on with Butterfree, it appears that Scorch is going to be able to be caught at lower levels, only in Pokemon Shield. However, Pokemon Sword can get Silicobra, Gigantamax form. From what I've seen in the rolling field as soon as you leave the meetup spot, if this beam right here is going off, there's a chance it's going to be the Scorch. I think this is the same exact den that Butterfree is spawning in right now. And Gigantamax Scorch can be as low as a 3-star raid. You can also find 4-star Gigantamax Butterfree, 4-star Gigantamax Corviknight, 4-star Gigantamax Scorch, 5-star Gigantamax Butterfree, 5-star Gigantamax Corviknight, and 5-star Gigantamax Scorch. Everything that I just said, if you're playing Sword, then just replace all the Scorch with Silicobra. Once I'm at that point in Sword, which is going to be later today, I'm going to make that video. That's the icon that it's going to look like, and it's up to you if you want to invite other people to do it, or if you just want to do it by yourself, it's completely up to you. Before going into a max raid battle, always recommend going into save and saving your game. Have to do that. I mean, you don't have to do that, but there's a chance that the Pokemon breaks out, and if it breaks out, then you're kind of SOL. I'm going to not invite others. And we're going to solo this. I have my Mew, which is very overleveled for only having six badges. I think he's level 74 now. Now, Gigantamax Scorch is a fire and bug type Pokemon, meaning that it's extremely weak to rock type moves. If you have a powerful rock type user, definitely recommend using that. Three star Gigantamax Scorch has Leech Life, Power Whip, Flamethrower, and Coil. 4-star Gigantamax Scorch has Leech Life, Fire Fang, Thunder Fang, and Crunch. So it has a Bug Move, a Fire, an Electric, and a Dark. And 5-star will have Lunge, Heat Wave, Fire Spin, and Power Whip. So I'm going to Gigantamax and use Max Rock Fall, Power 110. This should do some hefty damage on a 4-star. The 5-star has just ridiculous defense, but I think for the 4-star, this should take about half, if not maybe two-fifths. Alright, that's somewhere between two-fifths and a half. I'm happy with that. It's going to put up a shield. It's a three-point shield. Now, if you don't know as far as the shields go, if you do a regular attack or a super effective attack, it's usually only going to take one. Oh, that must... That looks like it's Gigantamax move. That was pretty dope. Oh, and become trapped in a fire, fiery vortex. Okay, so are we all going to be hit with fire spin or just that one Pokemon? So if it does coil a lot, it starts to boost its stats, its attack, defense, and accuracy, which is not the best. I mean, it's great for him, but not for us. And going back to the shields, whenever you use a Dynamax move, it's going to take two points of the shield, and I've also seen some critical hits take two points. Max Rockfall, this should break it and do hefty damage, and then we get the shield break damage. It didn't do hefty damage. That was some pretty weak damage. But now we get the shield break. His defense and special defense drop two stages, and he takes damage. Oh, they didn't drop. What? Okay. Togepi? Oh, that's some pretty nice damage on Mew. Okay, thanks, Mew. I, I know I know you can you can you're okay. Yeah, Togepi with the ancient power. Go little egg boy. Now this is a challenge that you face every time that you go to catch a Gigantamax Pokemon is 
do you go for a cool looking pokeball that you want to use or do you want to go for what you know is going to work well i'm going to go for what i know that works well it's an ultra ball if you save right before going into the den and you want to use a cooler ball like a premier ball or a heal ball or a beast ball you can totally do that especially with the beast ball you need to save beforehand because that has a decreased catch rate and three shakes there we go gigantamax sent a scorch bum, bum, bum. Ba -na 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 -na. I have the music off, so I need to make the sounds myself. Now, as of right now, there is rumor that Dynamax Pokemon in Raid Dens have an increased chance to be shiny. That is a rumor. I have not found anything to back that up. There's also been, via hacking, seen having Gigantamax Pokemon being shiny. But no one has found, in the wild, a Gigantamax Raid with shiny Pokemon. So, don't know if that's even a thing. But more importantly, I can replace my level 42 Santa Scorch with my now level 50 Santa Scorch. It has pretty garbage defense and not great speed. It seems to be kind of a mixed attacker, a little bit more on attack, although because of my nature. Uh, yeah, it's not a great nature. Good special defense, great HP. It has a wide variety of moves. Bug, fire, electric, and dark. Definitely pretty cool. I'm going to be putting this into my collection of... Gigantamax Pokemon that I have caught or obtained, which is not a lot right now. On this playthrough, did I not go get Pikachu and Eevee? All right, guys, well, there you have it. That's how you could get Gigantamax Santa Scorch right now, most likely during this promoted event that's going to be going until early January 2020. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the like button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.